Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this series, we'll be covering previous year MCQs asked in UPSC prelims. Let's discuss a few more questions from polity and governance. Question number one: Consider the following statements. An amendment to the Constitution of India can be initiated by the one Lok Sabha, two Rajya Sabha, three State Legislature, four President of India. Which of the above statements are correct? The correct answer is option D. An amendment to the Constitution of India can be initiated by either House or the Parliament under Article 368. It does not require the President's recommendation. Question number two: Consider the following statements about the recent amendments to the election laws by the Representation of People's Amendment Act 1996. One: Any conviction for the offence of insulting the Indian national flag or the Constitution of India shall entail disqualification for contesting elections to Parliament and State Legislatures. For six years from the date of conviction, two, there is an increase in the security deposit which a candidate has to make to contest to the election of Lok Sabha. Three, a candidate cannot now stand for election from more than one parliament constituency. Four, no election will now be countermanded on the death of a contesting candidate. Which of the above statements are correct? The correct answer is option B. Statement three is incorrect. As a candidate shall not be allowed to contest from more than two constituencies. Question number three: The 73rd Constitution Amendment Act, 1992, refers to a generation of gainful employment for the unemployed and the underemployed men and women in rural areas. B. Generation of employment for the able-bodied adults who are in need and desirous of work during the lean agriculture session. Option C: Laying the foundation for strong and vibrant Panchayat Raj system in the country. Option D: Guarantee of right to life, liberty, and security of a person, equality before law, and equal protection without discrimination. The correct answer is C. 73rd Amendment Act added 11th Schedule to the Indian Constitution and Part 9, which provides for the Panchayat Raj system. Question number four: Which article of the Indian Constitution provides that it shall be the endeavor of every state to provide adequate facility for instruction in the mother tongue at the primary stage of education? Article 349, Article 350, Article 350A, and Article 351. The correct answer is Article 350A, which was inserted with the Seventh Constitutional Amendment Act, 1956. Article 349 talks about special procedure for enactment of certain laws relating to language. Article 350 talks about language to be used in representation for redress of grievances. Article 351 talks about directive for the development of Hindi language. Question number 5 which one of the following statements correctly describes the fourth schedule of the Indian Constitution? A it lists the distribution of powers between the union and states. B it contains the language listed in the constitution. C it contains the language listed in the constitution. Option D it allocates seats in the council of states. The correct answer is option D. The fourth schedule of Indian constitution allocates seats in the council of states that is Rajya Sabha. Question number 6. Match list with the list 2 select the correct answer using the codes given below. A the constitution 69th amendment act, the constitution 75th amendment act, the constitution 88th amendment act and the constitution 83rd amendment act. Please go through the options. The correct answer is option A. The Constitution 69th Amendment Act talks about the status of national capital territory to Delhi. And the Constitution 75th Amendment Act talks about establishment of state level rent tribunals. Constitution 88th Amendment Act talks about recommendations of the 10th Finance Commission. The Constitution 83rd Amendment Act talks about no reservation for scheduled castes in panchayats in Arunachal Pradesh. Question number 7 if a new state to the indian union is to be created which one of the following schedules of the indian constitution must be amended option a first schedule option b second schedule option c third schedule and option d fifth schedule the correct answer is first schedule contains the name of states and union territory that's why it should be amended if a new state is created question number 8 match list 1 and 2 select the correct answer using the code given below Article 54, Article 75, Article 155, and Article 164. Please go through the options. The correct answer is option A. Article 54, election of the President of India. Article 75 talks about appointment of the Prime Minister. 
Article 155 talks about appointment of the governor of a state and Article 164 talks about appointment of the chief minister and council of ministers of a state. Question number 9 which one of the following amendments to the Indian constitution empowers the president to send back any recommendation for reconsideration by the council of ministers option a 39th option b 40th option c 42nd and option d 44th amendment act the correct answer is 44th amendment act article 74 stated that there shall be a council of ministers with the prime minister at the head to aid and advise the president in the exercise of his functions the 44th amendment act 1978 however added that the president can send back the advice of the council of ministers once for reconsideration but if the council of ministers send the same advice again to the president then the president must accept it the amendment went into effect from june 1979 question number 10 The 93rd Constitutional Amendment Act deals with the A continuation of reservation for backward classes in government employment B free and compulsory education for all children between 6 and 14 years C reservation of 30% posts for women in government recruitment and D allocation of more number of parliamentary seats for recently created states The correct answer is according to 93rd Amendment Act every child of the age group 6 to 14 years shall have the right to free and compulsory education. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. Until next time stay curious and keep learning.